Hello again, everybody. This is Michael, KE4EST. And as promised, I wanted to bring in from the last mailbag and show the review of this little ATX breakout board I got off Kickstarter. Um, you know, look here. Let's go up here to the computer. And on the computer, we can see it's right here. Um, High quality ATX breakout board version 2. Take your old PC power supply and make a bench supply out of it. Uh, let's see. This guy's, what's this guy's name? Richard Wilmont. And he'd made one of these before, I didn't get the one before. But he says, after a successful Kickstarter campaign with my first ATX breakout board, I've decided to make a version 2.0. With the improvements so there you go he's even got the the eagle layout so you can use cat soft and he's got the bill of materials there and the whole nine yards um, and he even includes one of these now so I've not mine I took off set it over here somewhere in all my junk not sure what I did with it. It was laying here. But it goes right there. It plugs in and you can see um, it just comes out to two wires, you know, kind of like this here. It just uh, comes out like that and then goes to a little connector, you know, like one of the JST connectors. You know, to plug in there, a little white connector. So you can have an external power switch is what that's for. And the only thing, I've been using this board a little bit. Brought out this. I wish they'd brought this out. I guess they figure if you're, you know, a maker or whatever, you can uh, do it yourself. You can disorder that or just tack on. Well, no, I wouldn't do that. I'll just take this one out and bring some leads out to... Uh, external potentiometer you know if you're gonna put it in a case or something but of course then if you did that you could also come off the power switch here too so um uh, been nice if they had a little plug or something over here to do that and uh disable this one with the jumper like they did here of course this jumper here now all this does here it goes to these usb ports and they're you know for charging is what they're for and with it uh, in this mode here if you can see that it says 5 volts and then slash 5 volts SB or 5 VSB and it's 5 volts standby because you know how you put your uh, and your uh, most power supplies now the computers when you turn the computer off uh, a lot of them will still have a standby 5 volt voltage going to an USB port. Uh, somewhere on your computer, you know, if you buy one or something. That way you can still charge something with the computer turned off. You know, as long as the computer's plugged in. But anyway, let me uh, show you here. Well, let us wait on that. Let's see here. Alright, let me show you. Just take your standard 20 or 24 pin connector and plug it in. If I can get the right, right way around here. And you see this one. I'll get it lined up. It's, you know, you got four pins here hanging over. And this is not lined up. Now if you got the standard 20 pin like this, it's going to plug right in and line right up. But those hanging over, don't worry about that. It was thought of. Um, these are just not using this circuit. You just plug it in like that, and then if you want extra power, because it's it'll you know it's designed to deliver full you know uh, high current. If you need something with a higher current, you can take this, which is it's a <coughs> if I can talk, designed to go into you know your motherboard to give CPU extra power. And a lot of most motherboards anymore require that that extra plug, and some require it too. Uh, if you got a really high uh, 
fancy motherboard but you can plug this into here and that'll give you extra you know current draw for your uh, 12 volt supply there but anyway now let me move this power supply off just a little bit and let that sit right there okay and let's hook these up let's start off with this and everything's independent here too get this around here so you can see it if you uh, look um, you look here you see everything's independent here uh, with your rails here barely see that but you got your plus a negative plus a negative ain't just like one negative and then you know whatever so we'll just go into the negative here I'll squeeze that back let me set it down here it's really tight one thing I did made these connectors really tight squeeze that back Get that one in let me see if I can show you if you focus on that I can't you can see that hole opening up right there maybe to really put some force on it okay and I'm gonna clip these on clip this one on okay so we can see the output move this over here Let's get this on something that's read properly. Okay. So there we got 20. See that 27 volts. I can go all the way up here like this is 38. Bring it all the way down. And this one's 11.8. It says you know 12 to 35 volts, but that's also depend on what's coming out here in the power supply um, switch that off and take this out let's check the 12 volt side see exactly well, I don't guess I need to clip it in there let's just turn this on see 12 volts is 11.9 let's go to drop a range there oh there we go 12.14 and put that in there 5 volts showing 5.1 that's pretty good and 3.3 3.32 3 that's good enough okay so let's just get this in there get that to stay Turn that off. Let's turn the little switch off for a minute. Now let's look at something here. Alright. This is a little. They ain't gonna even focus right. This one is a little Node MCU module. It's got the, the ESPA266 break, you know, breakout. And then got the uh, hearing the micro USB in there to program it without having to have a special programmer. And I've actually got it set up right now. I'm programming Wi Fi, but that's a different topic. Okay, so let's see. Make sure I don't put this in wrong. Okay, let's switch it on. Uh, it's doing its thing, booting up. And there we go. It's working. So, so I'm powering my little project here off this power supply. Okay, so what do I think about it? Well, 
Let's just shut this power supply off. Um, if it wasn't for the variable output, I wouldn't see much point in it. So that's where it really shines right there, having the, the variable voltage output. And everything's already there and built in for you, so you don't have to uh, uh, worry about it. Because you could take, you know, this, you know, cut these off, and uh, what is it, pin 16 or 17, short it out, you know, or put a switch on it. And you can switch your power supply on and off and take an old pure power supply, put it in some other kind of cabinet, bring out some, you know, some binding posts or something and have it. But this this really shines and makes a big deal is everything's right here and convenient. Um, where you got your voltages and you can have high current. If you add that, you can even have, you know, higher current. And uh, it's got the charging ports here, which is really handy. Um, everything needs a charging port anymore but you also got this variable part right here and that makes it real handy to be able to adjust your and I think it's 5 amps um, max output on the variable um, thing maybe it's 4 amps I think it's 4 amps 4 amps on this is maximum and 5 amps on the uh, USB plugs and then you got um, on these here uh, these constant voltage ones you can have 20 amps output I think especially if you plug this other pin in here for 12 volts so so there you go so if you need some little handy thing you don't have you got an old computer power supply and you want something just you can even just set this on the bench you know be careful not to short these out or whatever put some tape over them you know do it the cheap and easy way you'll have you a quick variable voltage power supply if you don't have one um, and then later on you could uh, put it in a case or something put everything in a bigger case or whatever um, I don't know some power supplies do have room but this one don't I'm trying to look down in here this one really ain't got any room extra in it uh, they used to be a a lot of room in them but now they really make them compact but where you could actually put this inside the case on how it was sticking out right here or something but anyway that'll wrap up this review on this here so uh, um, I bought this this I'm not a I didn't get this sent free or anything I paid for it this is just uh, I want to go a review for anybody interested um, the link will be in the description where to go get this from Okay, I think that'll wrap this video up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, this is Michael, KE4EST. 73, everybody.